Last week, this article was published on HackRead concerning some researchers who found a way to exploit VirusTotal. I read the article and conducted some research on the mechanics of the hack, at least what was disclosed by the researchers. And yes, this is a vulnerability in VirusTotal, and it certainly needs to be addressed. But for the most of us, and how we use VirusTotal every day, it's really not that relevant. So to tamper down some of the panic, I thought I'd do a short tutorial on VirusTotal to show what it is and how we can use it to keep ourselves and our network safe. VirusTotal is a project that is currently operated by Google. It aggregates information from multiple antivirus and security companies into a searchable index. It indexes known bads. When a company or researcher identifies something malicious, it gets hashed, categorized, and then indexed within the virus total system. We can then upload our questionable items into the system and see if anything matches. So let's take a look at virus total. When you go to virustotal.com, it'll bring you to this web interface. And you see we can search files. We can search a URL, say you have a suspicious domain and you think maybe it's being used for phishing. Search it here. Uh, you can also search IP addresses or hash values. Maybe you hashed the file yourself and you can just dump the hash value right in there. Most of us use it to search files. And there's a warning on uh, the page here and I'll echo it that when you submit a file up to VirusTotal, you are potentially sharing it with the community. Now, I, I don't think there's human eyes on the back side of this that is looking at every file that gets uploaded. That would just be unreasonable. But it's potential that somebody could see it. So, you know, I, I would stay away from proprietary data, you know, some type of trade secret or, you know, a deep personal secret that you don't want the world to see. With that being said, uh, let's look at a couple ways we can use this. So this, uh, this is a picture of my car. I took the picture. We're just going to drag it, drop it right into VirusTotal, and it's going to hash it. See, it gave it a hash, has the file name, and it ran it through the index, right? The database, they found nothing, nothing matched. And that's the way it should be because I took the picture and as far as I know, it's never been shared with anybody else. So no one should have ever seen it before. Let's go back. Now let's try another one. Say I got an email, it had this PDF file attached to it, uh, it says invoice, past due invoice, and I'm thinking, well, I do business with this company, but I don't think I owe them money, but they say that I do. I better check it out. You know, it's suspicious. I want to be safe. So I'm going to save that file out to some external resource, you know, maybe a thumb drive. Don't open it. Just save it out. And then I'm going to drag it and drop it into VirusTotal. And it's a good thing that I did. As you can see, 24 security vendors um have flagged this as suspicious and we see terms like trojan malware uh, you know all of this a worm all of this stuff that we certainly don't want to see let's go to the details you get an md5 hash sha1 sha256 file type it's not a pdf it's actually a zip file so somebody um you know concealed that zip as a pdf and sent it in an email it's been seen as far back as 2013, and it's the Zeus banking Trojan is what it actually is. And we definitely do not want to unleash that in our network. Let's go back, let's try another one. Same thing, this one came in an email as a doc, a Word doc, drag it, drop it in. And it's been uh, categorized also. We see, you know, Trojan, malicious with high confidence. We go to the details, hash values. It's been seen as far back as 2019. And uh, it's Triton malware. It's actually a zip file. It's a zip. It is not 
a Word doc. So it's a good thing that we checked that and did not open that up on our network. Another thing that you can do is check URLs. This is a text message, an, uh, an SMS message that I got a couple days ago. It says M&T Bank Alert, your M&T Bank account has been locked due to irregular activity. Please visit, and there's a web domain, uh, a .ru, which is generally hosted in Russia. Um, first problem, I don't have an M&T Bank account, so M&T Bank should never be contacting me. Secondly, uh, I don't know why M&T Bank would want their customers to go to a .ru domain. So let's uh, let's go back over here. Oh, I gotta I gotta copy this out. Copy that. And uh, sure enough. Uh, it's a login. It says it's a login. So this is probably some type of lookalike page. It looks like the login for M&T Bank. And I, if I went there, I would think I was logging into M&T Bank, but it's actually a phishing site. As is noted, uh, it also has a potential. Sophos Fortinet says it's, it's serving up malware. You can go to the details and you can find some, you know, so the title it's hoster.ru. There's a redirect, so this is, there's a redirect built in there. You can find things. So that, that gives you another avenue to do more research uh, if you would like. There's the final URL that it's going to. So uh, it's a good thing that you would check that before you just click that link. Another thing that we can do is just a general search. Say you have an IP address that you have served, maybe a search warrant during in your investigation and you've got uh, a login IP address, uh, or maybe you're running your own web server, you have your own website, and it's getting pounded from an IP address with failed logins. And you wanna check, well, what is this IP address? What's going on there? Uh, I have one here that I Suspect is suspicious because I just saw it in an Intel report. And it certainly is. Uh, 15 security vendors have flagged 131.100.24.231 as malicious malware, uh, Sophos and uh, Kaspersky, Fortinet, you know, so you see like Webroot, you see the big names here, ESET, they're all saying that this is a bad domain. Let's go to the details of it. Here's uh, some notes on it. Another thing, and you won't see this on everything, but community. So if you actually sign up and create an account, you will be able to submit notes into the community. And you see that People have noted, other users have noted that this is phishing and that it's serving up Emotet. So you would not want to go there uh, if it is, you find this IP address in your network, then you know you have problems. So that's it. Uh, that's just a, a real quick tutorial and an explanation of what Virus Total is, how we can use it to keep ourselves safe and our network safe.